and this is a Maisha Concept zebra dress which was actually sold out within the first few hours. So isn't that amazing? But anyway, I wanted to showcase to you, as I always do, three different ways of wearing this dress. So you, just to show you the basics of the dress first. So you can see a V-cut. Um, surprisingly, I'm wearing an XS size, which has never happened to me since my 20s. And um, the cut is very giving. And the uniqueness of this dress, it looks very baby doll in the front here with the A-line cut and obviously the very cute uh, little tail here. But look at this, there's a little gathering at the back. So actually when you walk, it's very cute. You play around with the looks a little bit and you don't have to style it the way I do. But I just wanted to show you how you can play with this dress because a lot of people actually have a problem. When they have a dress or an item, they don't know how to keep restyling it. And that's where we have problems with fast fashion, they actually want you to keep buying new things. Few basic essential pieces can take you a long way. And with Maisha Concept, with their organic cotton, the prints are all very, very lovely. They are just classic pieces that you can own and have in your wardrobe and then restyle and restyle and restyle them over and over again. Stop talking, let me bring you the looks, all right? Okay, so for the first look, just wearing the dress as it is, I know you've seen me style a pair of earrings from Shop Luster over and over again, but that's exactly what I'm trying to show you is that with one classic piece again, it can mix and match around with all the different looks in your wardrobe. So this of White How Light earrings, which I love so much, is going to be the earrings to match for this item. Okay, so you can see earrings are done, and now I'm going to pair it with my shoes pair of lovely cotton sneakers from Natural World Eco and this pair of sneakers takes me everywhere. I really love it. So this will keep the whole look very casual and for you mothers who are out there running around errands, going from school to supermarket, the schools are all opening up, this will be the perfect look for you, okay? And then of course, sun is shining, it's very hot. You know me, more is more. So a nice little hat to go with the whole look and this. So hands in the pocket, looking trendy, nice swing, breezy and light and you have this beautiful first look to work with. Alright, now the second look I'm going to put together is still using some of my Shea Concepts stuff. Uh, such as her scarves. So if you don't own one, it'll be good to invest in one. You've seen how I have actually used it as a headband or wearing it as a turban or even as a belt. And this time I've got this two-tone belt here. And it even can be a belt that comes from a previous dress that you have bought with Maisha Concepts. Stay around with the different things that you get from the logo. I'm going to put that on. And the contrast of this belt works perfectly. The stripes against the floral print. So that will give you the print on print mix that some of you actually like. And you know, for me, I've always liked print on print. So tying the belt this way, I get the contrast of the underside against the blue of the top side. And again, there's the contrast of the um, stripes against the floral print. So just adjusting the belt a little bit here. And then you can work with the earrings. So I have decided to work this time with these vintage earrings that has a little blue stone. Again, just bringing out some hue of blue to go with the whole look. Okay, so earrings are done. Kind of funky and cute. And I just wanted to show you one more thing before I pair it with the shoes is that I have this yellow Maisha Concept scarf and what you can do, if you do not have a sash like this from one of her other outfits, you can always buy, as I said, buy a scarf and convert it into um, a belt. So here I'm just folding it very quickly. You can see that the um, yellow goes very well with the blue and then the tassels that comes with the scarf adds that little bit of extra oomph to the outfit because I've got two scarves now so it's kind of bulgy but 
um, just giving you an idea. So this is how you could actually wear it with a coloured uh, belt, a coloured scarf. If you're going to get one from Maisha Concepts, would be nice. I think she's got some pink scarves. Uh, I like these yellow polka dot ones. Um, if you look at my feet, I've also styled this as a headband or a turban. But if you do not have a cloth belt and you rather maybe mix it with um, a leather belt, then a nice blue leather belt would also go with it. See, quite nice too. So up to you, how you want to play around with the belts. Um, and then here, I would like to go with um, little funkier sandals here I have glitter sandals now because I have the grey here so I'm bringing the grey down into the glitter sandals but my earrings have you noticed is gold so some people are concerned about mixing gold and silver or gold and grey but for me you know what it's up to the individual. I think fashion, um, you can play around with it. So you really don't have to be so fixed by the rules as long as it doesn't clash you. There is some color that is being brought from the outfit or from another part of the outfit, okay? So this is the second look where you cinch in the waist. A little bit more classic. Okay, now I'm going to present to you the third look. All right, for the third look, I've decided to put my hair up a little bit just to play with the different looks. The first one was with the hat, the second one was on its own, and now the third one, wearing it up. This is what I call my Singapore Airlines look. Okay, now, uh, earrings. I wanted to just play a little bit with colors again. So, this gorgeous pair of earrings from Shop Luster with a pink hue. So I'm going to put that on because this is a look that I thought, you know, I've done two like quite casual looks and I wanted to do a look that was a little bit more dressed up. Okay, so there you go. Pretty earrings. Now, how are we going to style this up a little bit more different? You know you've got the two pockets, right? Pull them out. Love the two pockets and what I love about Maisha Concept is that her pockets are the same fabric as her dress. If this was white pockets then probably not. Maybe you could, I don't know but I thought this would be quite cool. Okay so the two pockets here from the back just lift it up a little bit more to waist level and then bring the two pockets to the front and tie them up. You can adjust the skirt a little bit. I like, I don't mind if the front's a little bit longer, if it's a bit of a high-low effect. Um, but there, it's quite cute, okay? So this will be your evening outfit. And with the earrings, because I've got the pink in the earrings, Pink cues. Okay, that's the back. Three different looks with one Maisha Concept dress. I hope you enjoy it. See ya!